So why is it taking ages? It's not. We've only been gone a minute. Well, it seems like ages. Drive faster. There is a 30 mile an hour speed limit and 20's plenty. Well, if 20's plenty, 40 must be twice as plenty. No, uh, 40's naughty, 50 is shifty, 60's illegal. They're all illegal, so just be patient. <sighs> dum -de dum -de dum <sighs> I take it you're looking forward to the film, then? Yeah, it's going to be brilliant. I love Jurassic Park films. Yeah, the first one was great, wasn't it? And I, I hear this one's got an amazing twist. Do the dinosaurs dance? No, not, not that sort of twist. Oh, good, because that would be stupid. Ridiculous. Doesn't it look brilliant? Jurassic Park 6, dinosaurs in love? Come on. I love you more than a Brontosaurus has ever loved a pterodactyl. But ours is a love that dare not roar its name. Oh, the goodness. Oh, nothing else matters, Narinda. Not even our fundamentally different diet and habitat. Not if we truly, truly love each other. Oh, this restaurant is divine, Randy. I'm amazed you could fit in it. Well, my tail is in the car park, and I think well, someone's just parked on it. But I time. can't feel the pain when I'm looking at one of your eyes. I'm, I mean, who directed this? But surely... Oh, the, the basic physics of it, Randy. We must try. We simply must... Oh! Oh, no! Here come the velociraptors! Yeah, velociraptors! By the way, son, They're bringing us flowers. The velociraptors have changed their ways due to the power oh. of love. <laughs> and, yes... They're doing a little love ballet. Well, that just doesn't make oh, any Randy, sense. They're going to sing to us. Sing to us, the Velociraptors. Sing. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm Right. I'm having enough of this. I let a wild have come up with it under my bed. Why does time fly when you're having fun, and why doesn't it when you're not? Oh, keep it down, will you? Just shut up, will you? I do Come wish on, you wouldn't do that in the cinema. Shut up now. <laughs> well done, darling. There's just time for a time check. If you're lost and you look, and you will find it time after time. <laughs> I love monkeys, I love monkeys All those happy little chirpy little monkeys With their tails and their bananas I think that if we all were monkeys We'd have happier manadas Give me monkeys, lots of monkeys For you know that it's the monkeys I adore If my love said that she did not love those monkeys I wouldn't love her anymore How long was that? 29.2 seconds. That must be a record. No, it's on CD. I mean, it must be the quickest monkey song yet. All oh, right. How long does it usually take? Oh, I don't know. Honestly, little Howard, I, I haven't been so embarrassed since... since... Well, the last time you did that to me in a cinema, that was unforgivable. Do you forgive me? Well, yes. That was the worst film ever. We must have been in the cinema for about seven hours. We were only in there for 20 minutes. Well, I do hope the brontosaurs get back together. I thought that film was brilliant. Yeah, well, you like Lion King, the breeding season, and love Toy Story. The thing is, little Howard, you've actually come up with a big question that I'm genuinely interested in for once. I think time does change speeds when you're having fun and when you're not. Yes, it does. And I've got an idea for an experiment that will prove it. No, I, I'm afraid I can't help you at all this week, little Howard. I've got to finish my accounts. What are accounts? You're, you're far too young to handle such boring information. I'll, I'll tell you when you're older. When will I be older? You'll feel about 20 years older once I've told you. Is it really boring? Accounts. Got to do 
my counts. <laughs> hey, little Howard, just out of interest, uh, what was the experiment you were thinking of doing? I thought you were doing your accounts. Well, I am, am and I'm, I'm, I'm obviously pretty much finished them, cracking through them quite quickly, uh, but I've got till Friday. Well, what I was going to do, I was going to sit you in a bath full of cold custard with all your clothes on and poke you with sticks for ages. What? Of course, if you would rather do your accounts. Ow! What have you been doing to the bathroom? I've just prepared it for my big experiment. How, how long's he been here? I've no idea. Ow. But he seems to know what he's doing. And I hate to ask, but what's under the dust sheet? Ah, oh, well, this is an experiment to find out if time really does slow down when you're bored. That's why I've invited Doris from down the road. No, not Doris, no, no. Hello, Fat Harry. The name's not Fat Harry, it's Big Howard. Right, I'm off. What? Where are you going? Well, for my part of the experiment, I'm going to go to Super Mega Fun World Fun Park and find out if time really does fly when you're having fun. What? Well, the rules are neither of us are allowed to look at any clocks, and when I get back, we both have to guess how long we've been doing our activities for. Listen, I'm having second thoughts about this. I'm, I'm getting out. Well, if you like, the experiment would probably work just as well if you were doing your accounts. I'll stick with the cold custom. See you later, then. Have fun! Right, well, um, if you're comfortable, then we can begin. Uh, off we go. <laughs> Hello there. Would you mind helping me with our experiment, please? Yeah. Could you tell me your name, please? Enzo. And you in the middle there? Tom. Tom, and you at the end? Charlie. Uh, what is your favourite type of monkey, Enzo? Um, chimpanzee. Chimpanzee, that's nice answer, yes. And Tom? Chimpanzee. Chimpanzee, we'll go for chimpanzee. What do you think, Charlie? Really? Oh, yeah, no, that is very fine. That is a large monkey. I like the way you think. Um, mine is a pygmy marmoset, the world's smallest monkey, for your information. OK, so what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to go on this roller coaster several times, please, if that's all right, and then tell me how long you think it is, and then we will tell you how long it actually is to find out whether time does actually fly where you are having fun. I will come on too. Ah, uh, yeah, I might be a little bit sick. OK. Sorry, Norris. What were you saying? Well, they have been looking about with the old bus route system since last June when they did away with the number 39. Now, I do not Ow. like those bendy buses. Ow. They are really dangerous, I tell you. You can get stuck in the bend. And then he needed a hand moving it, and my youngest was there, so he helped him out, you know. Have I told you about my youngest? Yes, he's recently become a vampire. Well, I don't know why, in fact, well, I'm not really that interested. Sorry, what? This a vampire? Oh, stop, please. Oh, seriously, he's a vampire. Eating. A vampire? Yogurt. I'm quite interested in a vampire. Yes, vampire. exactly. Because there is no point in having a salad crisper if you keep yoghurt in it. Yeah. Oh, so I'm so excited to be sick! So I'm sorry, madam. Besides, the goldfish has got a whooping cough. Well, that's no good, is it? You can't trust anybody, not like the old days. Now, when I was young, we didn't have a fridge. Imagine, you know, getting by without one fridge, let alone two. And we never had a salad crisper. We kept our salad in the garden and nobody ever stole it. <laughs> Charlie, Tom and Enzo. Uh, how long do you think that lasted? The two times round, how long do you think it lasted, Charlie? 
About 50 seconds. 50 seconds. How long do you think it lasted, Tom? Two minutes. Two minutes. How long do you think it took? A minute. A minute. It was actually three minutes ten. So time does fly when you're having fun. Ah. Thank you very much indeed, Charlie, Tom and Enzo. That was very good. We have proved that time flies when you're having fun. Come on. <laughs> like you mean it. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. Ow! How much longer is this going to go on? Ouch! What we really found out by that is that leeches don't like chocolate. Stop the clock! Oh, thank goodness for that. So how long do you think that lasted? Well, uh, again, I'd, I'd say about at least four hours, but a, try a proper guess, I'd say two and a half hours at least. No, the uh, actual time that you were in the custard for the duration of the whole experiment was, in fact, one hour, 33 minutes and 35 seconds. Wow. <laughs> oh, that would be interesting if it wasn't so boring! Get me out of here! <laughs> well, that was interesting, wasn't it? We should really do it three times to make sure the results are sound. Well, we should do it the other way around. You should sit in a bath full of custard. I, um, I, I don't think that would prove anything. You're just chicken, aren't you? You don't want to sit in a bath full of custard. Big Howard, I'm a six-year-old boy. I'd love to sit in a bath full of custard. But you would not like to go to Super Mega Fun World Fun Park. After about half an hour in the Big Dipper, you'd be sick on someone's head. Like you were the last time. Yeah, I don't know why the mayor was standing there. So, I think we've proved that time does fly when you're having fun and that it does go slower when you're not having fun. Pardon me, boys. <laughs> oh, Doris, you're still here. Well, I, I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. <laughs> little doll, though, I must admit. <laughs> now, little Howard, you are right. Mm? Time is a funny old thing. Mm. And you should know better now that you're, you're grown up. Grown up? Well, not exactly grown up, no, but older. Time goes quicker than it did when you were a child. Well, time does seem to go quicker now I'm older, but surely that's not because I'm having more fun than when I was a kid. I've worked out a way to make my time go slower. By being really, really boring. Don't, don't say that, little Howard. That's really, really true. Rude, rude. No, I just pretend to be boring for a laugh. Yeah, you young people, you always fall for it every time. Well, it's very convincing. But time went slower today for Big Howard because he was really bored. What I do is, you see, I try and do something new and different every day. Yesterday I went to a Bon Jovi concert and Ooh. today I did this silly experiment and at the weekend I might learn to play darts. Look, Big Howard, Doris is interesting. Yeah, who'd have thought it, eh? <laughs> Look, lads, I must be off because I've got my first trombone lesson this afternoon. Oh, that's lovely. Good for you, Doris. And then I'm going bungee jumping tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Well, let's get a crack on. Let's do something we've never done before. We could hover the living room. I'm not sure about that. We could go bungee jumping. Will Pig and Little Howard go bungee jumping? Does time pass slower when you're stuck in a freeze frame going into an ad break? Is this voiceover going to take much longer? All this and less still to come. And this week... We want you to guess how long the second half lasts without looking at any watches or clocks. And at the end of the show, we'll find out if you're right. So it's really very important that you stay tuned. I am ex-film actress Andy McDowell. I am not Brian May. You may remember me from these adverts and from such films as Four Weddings and a Funeral and... Um... I'm worried about worry lines, which only makes them worse. Luckily, I have discovered a product which makes my skin firm and smooth in any shape I want it to be. It's called Face to Scene from Red Lorry, Yellow L'Oreal. The unique formula contains Miracle Formula Slob Lock B, which is formulated into a formula. Here comes the science bit. You concentrate now. And remember, if you want to reverse the ravages of that cruel Duchess Father Time, use face to scene, because it's all you're worth. No, I, 
I don't really fancy bungee jumping. It's, it's so blue Peter. Hey, you want to know about time, don't you? Yeah. Well, I've always wanted to go up Big Ben. Wouldn't he mind? No, Big Ben, it's, it's, it's in the clock tower of the Houses of Parliament. It sets the time for all of Britain. Can everyone in Britain see it? No, it's big, but it's not that big. But it is the most important clock in the country. Brilliant! This is Big Ben. Well, it's not actually Big Ben. The bell's called Big Ben, but apparently the clock's called the Great Clock Tower. Why is it called that? Why is it called Big Ben? What about, why not Massive Nigel? Or Enormous Kenny? Or Huge Duncan? Shush now, stop it. Enormous Digbert? Stop it, you're just being stupid now. Vast Clive. It's called Big Ben, OK? Just get used to that idea. One, two, three, four, five, six. 79, 80, You're now standing inside the south clock face. What did people use before they had clocks? Originally, people would have followed the sun. The sun will be in different places in the sky. Hiya, I'm Little Ben. Always good to meet a little version of a bigger thing. Ding dong. The first way people measured the time was by using the sun. At first, people just looked up to tell what time of day it was, and then they invented sundials. Days were divided up into 24 hours and hours into 60 minutes by the Babylonians 5,000 years ago. Oh, are those the monkeys with the blue bottoms? No, those were baboons. Oh, what colour bottoms did the Babylonians have? Um. That is a mystery lost in the midst of time. And their pants. But why do we need time? Well, we didn't until civilization became more organized. Until 1855, the time was slightly different in every town all over the country. But when the railways arrived, we had to have a national standard time. Otherwise, no one would know how late the trains were. Oh dear, mustache. Why? Your dream sequence is only 72 seconds long this week. Oh. And a chance of a spin-off series! Does time fly when you're having fun? And so does Big Ben get faster? No, time does fly, or it appears to fly when you're having fun, but Big Ben still keeps its time within a second of time. Can we see the clock, please? Yes, certainly. We can go right now. Where is it? It's up on the next floor up. Brilliant. Brilliant. More stairs. We're now inside the clock room, inside the square of the dials. But I think I'll hand you over to Ian to explain the mechanics behind the clock. It's enormous. It's 15 and a half feet long, four and a half feet wide, 18 inches high, and weighs about four and a half tonnes. Wow, that's even taller than me, and nearly as heavy as Big Howard. Probably just a little bit heavier. It's split into three distinct sections. You've got the strike train, that's the bit that rings Big Ben. The bit next to me is the going train, that's the bit that tells the time. And behind me, you've got the quarter train. That plays the quarter past, half past, quarter to, and the notes just before the hour. Brilliant. To keep this clock accurate, there's a pendulum all the way from the bracket at the back through the floor, it's 15 feet long, and it ticks every two seconds. And to keep it within that two seconds a day, we add and take off old pennies, pre-1971 pennies. We put on one penny, and it speeds the clock up by two-fifths of a second over 24 hours. We take one off, it slows the clock down by two-fifths of a second over 24 hours. Wow, I thought that was your pocket money. That's about what we get paid, about a penny a week. <laughs> In a minute, what you're gonna hear is the clock striking one of the quarters, the half past the hour. What you'll see is the big fly fan at the top spinning around oh, and like the wheels stars. behind me going round and you'll hear the sound of the bells playing. Oh, what what oh, they do noisy. is they'll play the tune which lets everybody know that that's the half past the hour. So where's Big Ben, the bell? Well, we'll find Big Ben upstairs. Do you want to come up with me? Yeah! Hooray! Big Another Ben! Another flight of stairs. Great. Oh, there we go. So, which one's Big Ben? Is it the big one? Big Ben, behind me. 13 and a half tons. <gasps> We've got four other bells up here, the bells that have played the quarters. But Big Ben, 
is the, uh, the bell that tells the time. The first strike of Big Ben is the time signal. What you'll hear is the first quarter bell, which is the third quarter across there. You'll watch that hammer move and it'll play all 16 notes just before the hour. Once that's happened, there's... much for the top. Ow! That was brilliant! And the clock's so old, and yet it still keeps on working. Yes, it's got me thinking. If we can change the speed of time, why can't we change the direction? What, like travel through time? Brilliant! Right, we'll need a pack lunch and a cagoule. No, no, hang on, wait. I vote we go to the Jurassic period. I bet it's much better than that rubbish film. Slow down, little Howard. Time travel isn't possible. I mean, we didn't change the speed Boring. of time. Oh, there. You go and talk to Mother. She'll confirm absolutely everything I've said, that time travel's completely impossible. Of course time travel's possible. All you need is a vehicle that can travel 300,000 kilometres per second. The great scientist, Albert Einstein, this is him, Anyway, he had a theory that if you could travel at the speed of light for five years, time would travel at a different speed for you than your friends you left at home. If you celebrated five birthdays during your voyage, when you got home, you'd find all your little chums had aged 50 years. Brilliant! How fast is the speed of light? 186,000 miles per second. Right. Is that faster or slower than the speed limit on the road outside? Well, in a built-up area like this, you can go at 30 miles an hour. OK. So is that more or less than 186,000 miles per second? It is quite a bit less. Right. I'm just going out for a bit. I'll be back for tea. Okie dokie. In 50 years. Righto. OK, OK, so I need enough food for five years. That should be plenty. Chicken soup can go a very long way. Oh, and I need to know when I'm going the speed of light. So, got to go the speed of... That looks simple enough. OK, I've got my co-pilot, Very Little Harvey. Hello! Set the engines to warp speed, co-captain, Very Little Harvey. Not sure that OK, warp speed we'll have to do. But this is a pretty big hill, so if I pedal as well, I'll be travelling at the speed of light in no time. Here we go. Here I come. Oh, dear. Oh, it's going a bit quick. Oh, I don't like the speed of light. Why can't I go the speed of dark? Oh, the whole series is flashing before my eyes. What year is this? Oh, don't ask me, love. I stopped counting in the 1990s. Are you wearing that to protect yourself from marauding Tyrannosaurus Rexes or from space aliens from the future? No, love. It's, it's one of my new activities. I'm learning to be a quarterback. We're forming an American football team down at the day centre. We're called the Backshot Donkeys. Oh! I don't suppose you've got 50 years older since I was at the top of that hill, have you? No. I just forgot to moisturise today. So I haven't travelled through time, then? No. <laughs> Hello, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Doris? What's the matter? <laughs> Haven't you ever seen an old lady in American football gear before? Well, now that you mention it, no, I haven't. Good. Then I've just made your life seem a little bit longer. Oh, yeah. Little Howard, what have I told you about trying to attain light speed in your pedal car? You never told me anything about trying to attain light speed in my pedal car. Oh. Well, I'm sorry for my lack of foresight. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Doris caught me. Thank you, Doris. 
Oh! Are you all right, Doris? Oh! I, I think I feel a song coming on. Oh, yes. Oh, I think I can feel that as well. Oh! oh. It might be a little bit of wind. No, I did one in the car. No. No, I'm pretty sure it's a song. Brilliant! When it's dull, it lasts forever. When it's fun, it goes too quick. I sometimes think that Father Time is trying to take them in. If we could make good things last longer, blimey, that would be a trick. Why does time fly when you're having fun? When your young life goes so slowly, when you're old, it goes too fast. Happy moments only seem to roll into the past. But I have found a way that we can make the good times last. Try doing something new but scary every day. I can punch an anaconda. Or just learn the clarinet. I can wrestle a gorilla. Or do something for a bet. I can goose a big chinchilla. Or even better yet, try doing something safe but scary every day. When it's dull, life goes too slowly. When it's fun, it goes too fast. Happy moments only seem to rush into the past. If only we could find a way to make the good times last Try doing something safe but scary every day I could change my name to Farty Now that I'd like to see I could join the Labour Party Liberal, Green and then Tory I could learn black belt karate But don't go kicking me Try doing something safe but scary every day Found a way that we can make the good times last Try doing something new and scary every day I could ask out Mrs Jackson That's a teacher at your school I could buy a louder klaxon Who invited this old fool? Who I could wrestle Jeremy Who? Paxman Now that really would be cool Try doing something safe but scary Something safe but scary Doing something safe but scary every day Welcome back to the second half of the show. Now, before the interval, we ask you to write down, without cheating, how long you thought the first half of the show lasted. To find out once and for all whether time really does fly when you're having fun. And to make sure you're all enjoying yourselves. So, we've got the answers in this bucket here. Right, let's have a look-see. Uh, Sally on the third row. Hello, Sally. Um, Sally thinks that she's been here for five hours. Yeah! Well... Really, there's no pleasing some people. That's a, a silly. Strike. Let's see if we can find a serious answer. Now then, Harrison, who's in the circle, says he's been here for three or four days. <laughs> well, uh, we'll try another one. Um, Mohammed, who's at the back there. Hi, Mohammed. Mohammed can't remember a life before he entered the theatre and thinks he may have been born in. Oh, for goodness well, sake. But get the length of the second half of the show was 18 hours 40. That's how long it felt, anyway. Over on the CBBC channel in 15 minutes, it's Beat the Boss. Beat the Boss. I tried that the other day. What happened? She fired me. Get ready for a brand new kind of adventure. Run! <laughs> the dancing dolphins of doom. Let me put it another way. <laughs> The legend of Dick and Dog. Can we watch now? So new it hurts. Ah! Friday at 4.35, CBBC on BBC One.